Hey everyone, it's uh, 1030 p.m. on Thursday, June 20th, 2019. And right here is a Hampton Bay Waterton ceiling fan. And I don't know the exact year it was manufactured. I want to say probably circa 2001. And I got this on trade from fan collector Brian Peterson on our last meetup along with a whole plethora of other fans that he had promised to trade me and um, I still have more to get from him and uh, Brian you can clue me in as what year this fan was made and he's a Cleveland fan collector on YouTube for those who do not know um, check out his channel at your leisure and he even featured this fan on his channel it was right in his kitchen above his uh, table looked really well there and uh, he wanted to turn loose of it so Yours truly has it now. And this was sold predominantly at Home Depot because it's Hampton Bay. See the logo up there? It's on the uh, perforated sideband. Yeah. Hampton Bay, one's at the top of the motor. It's flush mounted. The other side of the blade is black. And while we're at it, I'm going to show you the tip of the blade. It's got that. SMC esque pointed tip or arch arch tip, but I think it was manufactured by Air Cooler King of Fans, and uh, it's got the U shaped bracket like you find in the it's Carousel Cousin, the ventless. Uh, but if you're looking at the side band from this angle, you can see the uh, top vents. Right there, right through the perforated sideband. See the, there's a little bit better look. It's there's the those are brand new like balls put in there. It's got the spiral in there. My last trip to Habitat. On the way. And the Hampton Bay pendants, pole signature Hampton Bay. Did not change anything about this fan. I know there's a little bit of blemish right there. I'll have to clean that up at my leisure. But anyway, let's shed a little light on the situation. There, see it's uh, two lights at a time. It's kind of crisscross. One side. Other side. Oops, I have to pull it too fast and then it's all four. Kind of blurry. Doesn't really blur so much from this angle. There. Cause that nice glossy blaze, as you can see the reflection of the light in them. And yes, I do have a very, very similar fan manufactured by Aircool that's like 15 years older with the uh, square tip Hunter esque blades. With the same brackets, maybe I'll be I'll be it slightly different. It doesn't have the uh, little things on the bottom. I never really understood what they were for, but anyway, just so you can't see the screws. But that never bothered me. But enough talk. Let's just rev it up first on low. Has a nice aesthetic look to it and has a slight hum. It's hardly audible, but okay. Medium. And let's bump it up to high, shall we? Oh yeah. Let 
Runs really poised too. Really impressed with the way it runs. I mean, bearings on it are good and She's really cranking out here, let me tell you what. And I think we will power it down. It's got a really long spin down time to it. Yeah, like I said, these are childhood fans for me. And uh, particularly the predecessor with the uh, arch stand blade. It's an arch that has a total arch just like you find at the bottom of the blade. If you can picture that. Yeah, I have its uh, carousel cousin. I have two of those. I've actually got a few more Hampton Bays in my collection. I got an older Windward G Event and a new in the box White and Brass Princeton. Not the one I did another video of. I uh, gave that to a friend. He took it south with him. He even did a video of it, but... Anyway, uh, fan has ceased operation. And before I show you one of the fans I installed, the, uh, yes, that's a uh, Palm Air Pacific Breeze. I got that at Fanimation last summer, almost a year ago, from fellow collector Jonathan Finn. It was brand new in the box, lacked blades. I mean, it was brand new when Jonathan got it, but I do have one that's uh, Sands Light, another one like that that I had right in that very spot, not to be confused with it. And I took the blades from that one to put on this one because the other said it was, I don't know, it just kind of wobbled, and the other one had a set of wonky blades on it, so. I didn't have access to a vice to bend them back, but anyway, that's another story. Okay, this uh, concludes our broadcast day. Thank you for watching. More to come.